You put the world on your canvas, brush and hand in ting ting. You paint the colors of joy, tapping paint on a clean slate, a serene blade. Spinning around but for joy, you paint the life with ease. All this you did it on the seventh day. You took a break. Yeah. All covered in pain. Covered in pain. On the throne you stay, and the top from away. Cause you are my impossible Picasso, painting a picture. Incredible, sexual, but you make these beautiful. Michelangelo, what is your camera slow? Just Paint some more, just paint some more. Cause you make all things beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. To me, you're beautiful. Because you're beautiful. I can see beautiful. In me, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. To me, you're beautiful. Because you're beautiful. I can see beautiful. Painting starts with a blazing stroke. Creation zero. Imagination's reality. Created everything but I still take time out for me. What did I do to be? How can I ever get love back to you? I'm not worthy. But you endure the pain. Use your blood as paint. Paint my soul the purest of colors. And for them, I'm so thankful, God. You are my painting a picture of the incredible, intangible, but you make all things beautiful. Michelangelo, I don't know. The world is your camouflage. Yeah. Just paint some more. Cause you make all things beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. To me, you're beautiful. Because you're beautiful. I can see beautiful. In me, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, you're beautiful to me. You're beautiful because you're beautiful. I can see beautiful in me. In me, I can see beautiful in me. In me, I can see beautiful in me. I can see beautiful in me. I'm very, very excited to have you on the Hope More, our first March Music Mondays, because I'm looking forward to the spring. I mean, we've been in COVID lockdown, then you have Texas and different places going through terrible winter weather as it's leaving and spring is coming. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to do music and women issues or women heroes during the month of March, but I didn't want to have them on the same day. So I was like, I'm going to celebrate music on Monday and Wednesday during the regular Hope More Hour, we're going to highlight some great women of faith. But I have you here and I was like, please, please say yes to being my first March Music Monday guest. So thank you, Des, so much. Can you tell my audience a little bit about who you are, because I can be talking about everything else, including the fact that you are married to one of the fiercest women to have ever done it, Miss Ty Dems. But what? could you just share with them a little bit about who you are? Um. Well, listen, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a country boy from Florida. You know, what I'm saying, you know that that that's the the roots of Perry, Florida. That's the family right there. That's the family. Um. I, I'm I'm an artist that does uh, music from my heart. So. I, you know, Christian based and everything, but I, I'm really into 
kind of telling my story, you know, my life story, the things I've been through, the things that I've learned, um, things I've even struggled with. I'm very transparent. Um, the one thing that I wanted to do with my music is that I wanted to be something that would be able to touch people's hearts and to be honest. Maybe it's a story that you feel for yourself that you never even thought about talking about. And so I wanted to put that in there. Like I go from my relationship with God, my relationship with my wife, uh, my my relationships before my wife, um, my my thought process, stuff that makes me mad, some stuff that makes me happy, um, all of those things. But that's that's just really me. I've I've always been a really blunt person, and so I I found out one of the easiest ways to be really blunt is to sing about it. So that's so how I put it in my music. I can say whatever I want to, like as long as it sounds good, you know. It's like you know about- what. <laughs> that is so true because um even like outcast song hey y'all i'm like yeah. we're popping this song is really sad it's about how relationships <laughs> don't work but hey let's just keep dancing right <laughs> so right you yeah. get away with like saying almost anything in music yeah. and so would you describe your genre as inspirational gospel? Gospel. I know it's hard for an artist because no artist chooses to be in a box. But how would you describe, or when people go look for your music, where would they most find it? Yeah, my uh, one of my homeboys came up with this thing. He was like, "Bro, I think your junk is more like rhythm and gospel," and I was like, "I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Like you know, that. It's, it's really like I love cool. that. So it's it's." It's in the gospel genre, um, but I have songs on there that are just not quite gospel, like uh, "Not Ready." "Not Ready" is not gospel. It's it's just it a is story. not. Um, <laughs> it's a story about me not being ready to be in a relationship, and that type of thing is just kind of truth. It's not anything in it where you can't let anybody listen to it. You can let your grandma listen to it. You can let your kid listen to it. You can listen to it, but at the same time, it's an honest story. Um, but my my music is more. It's it does not shy away from what I believe in, but at the same time, it doesn't shy away from my life either. So, oh man, let me tell you, I love every song on this EP, and this EP just came out. I think it was February twentieth. Twentieth, yep. Yeah, yeah. So it is hot <laughs> off the presses, and I know that you can get this on Spotify, Apple, everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere yeah, music everywhere. is sold. So if yeah. you like me, I got my work phone is downloaded <laughs> and on my personal phone is downloaded. Yeah. If yeah. I could download it anywhere else, I would download it every song on here. And I'm not just saying this, every song on here is appreciate hot. That. I appreciate it's that. It's really yeah. hot. And uh, you what? are writing your own music. How awesome is that? Like that takes a lot of bravery to do yeah. your own music. Right. Well, I, I mean, I arrange everything. Everything is done. We write, arrange everything. It's just like this is something that I've been working on for a while now. And, you know, I've been writing since I was eight. So, uh, really? my, my, yeah, my father told me that he was like, boy, you've been writing music since you were like eight years old. And I was like, oh, I'm, I didn't remember. I just knew with, once I could touch a pen, I was putting something together. So. Um, these are these are things that are just you know it makes it easier for me. For some people, it may be a little hard, but for me, like music just kind of flows. I say that honestly, English is my second language. Music is my first. Oh, I like that. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Music right. is my first, and you know, you know, full disclosure. And I guess it's not hard to guess because this last name we have is, is a powerful you know, last we, name, and it's very you. different. Yes, it is. We are a part of the group of um, former um, slaves who uh-huh. were owned by a group of people named Dempsey, and a bunch of brothers got together and ch- took that EY off right. and said, we will be Dems. Dem- mm-hmm. We often say Dem Strong. Des Dems is a cousin of mine, but well, before and after that, I respect the anointing on his life. I've seen him grow up. I've seen him from a distance and up close like, whoa, okay, he's a talented singer. Look at him. His heart is turning towards God. And then I said, the love of his life. Max, tied them. Because I was in Atlanta and she was up there for a convention. I don't right. know if she wanted to go to public. I have no idea. But yeah. y'all were just dating and you were like, look out for my girlfriend. And I was like, <laughs> And you, I met her. you came through though. You came through. I appreciate that. I so met her. I was like, <laughs> oh, she the one. Right. I hope you don't 
find nobody else because I'm gonna be like, oh, that girl Ty he used to date. And she has <laughs> been know. up in our family. She's been <laughs> she's been hazed. She's had to deal with the crazy things. <laughs> 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 That's a whole other story. But yeah, that's, that's I still love it's a whole nother story. But I think what I love yeah. about your your relationship outside of the fact that she's fabulous yeah. is that you guys are best friends. You really look like you're each right. other's favorite people. Like they're yeah. big Jaguar Jacksonville Jaguar fans. They right. dress up, they play silly, and mm-hmm. they were friends before they got romantically involved. So that Not Ready song, I played it for my nephew, Breon, and actually he's giving a shout out. He was like, oh my God. Cause yeah. He like that right now. <laughs> He's doing a little hard. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, what's, um, up? what's up, Cuzzo? <laughs> what's up, Cuzzo? Ah, he was <laughs> like, ooh, auntie. Just, you know, I think it's so great to have what you said, rhythm and yeah. um, gospel because yeah. many times, especially in the gospel realm, our songs are like very vertical often or very horizontal like oh you know you can do it you can make it oh god help me make it but when i want to like when i'm breaking up with somebody or when i'm like feeling like oh yeah uh i mean i want to hear fred you know i want to hear and so i think of artists like you and i Mm -hmm. hope you don't mind me making comparison but if you guys like molly music you will love him okay One thing I really loved about Molly before he was even on the scene years ago when I saw him in Tennessee, I was yeah. like, he had this song, um, I Hate You, and it was about the I devil. Hate you. Yeah. I hate you. Do, yeah. do, do. But you know, song, if you feel it with Molly, that yeah. song hit me differently because yeah. he was like, I hate you, I wanna fight you. It reminds right. me of just like, okay, this vessel is expressing something that I normally can't find on my Kirk Franklin even. And when right. I listen to it, not ready, you know, as a single myself and hoping to um, be married and um, now in a relationship, you know, those words hit me. And right. I respect the fact as a man of God that you were like, you were being honest in this song about where yeah. you were, and where you weren't. Yes. And it was, and so it inspired me as a single woman to know that, you know, I heard this weekend a pastor at a rise church in D-Land says, you know, he saw this woman that he believed was his wife, but he was not ready for her. He was about yeah. to go off to school. And he's like, Lord, if she's mine, keep her. And I was yeah. like, oh, that's mine. <laughs> if he's mine, keep her. Yeah. If she's yeah. not ready for me. That's okay. Yeah. Like my cousin Des, he gonna get ready. And at the appointed time, I'm sorry to talk so long, but yeah. it just preaches. It, your music preaches. It, it, that's what I wanted, though. I think that a lot of times, like you said, gospel music, it it, it is very kind of you know, God will do it, God will do it, and it's like, well, how? How's he gonna do it? And you know, I think sometimes we kind of lose the testimony in it. And I didn't want to do that. For my music, I wanted to be honest, even if it came kind of slightly embarrassing. I think sometimes we kind of suffer because nobody wants to testify. Like, they want to tell the truth. Like, have you ever been mad? Have you ever been mad at God? Have you ever been mad at somebody? Have you ever wanted to fight somebody? Have you ever wanted to cuss somebody out? Or have you ever cussed before? Have you been in a situation that has been ridiculous? I got this song that my next EP, I'm already like, it's almost done now. But okay. Yeah, no, we working. We working. I, I'm so, this is this, this um, but the, the next one I got, uh, it's this a song called "I Got a Question," and so that one kind of asked the question to Christians, like, uh, "What happened to your testimony? Like, what happened to your truth? Like, we always say stuff like, you know, like sometimes Christians have a tendency to be like, hey, you know." Back in the day, I used to be. I'm like, well, what's your current? Like, what's your current thing? What's your current issue? What's your current problem? What's the, what's the things you're? Because it's not like we just overcome and then we have nothing else. Then you have nothing. Like now, all of a sudden, you're an angel. Like, no, uh, uh-uh. what's your current junk? Like, everybody has a favorite sin, and we don't want to tell the truth, but it's true. Everybody has a favorite sin, and nobody wants to talk about it. 
So I just, you know, my thing is with the music, I was going to tell my stuff like, hey, this is what's going on. And if you understand that I'm sitting here doing things for God, you can too. I'm struggling just like you, but at the same time, I'm still going after God. And the more I go after God, the more my favorite sin starts to kind of push away a little bit. And every now and then I struggle with it. Not enough all. But okay, gotta get it. That's what I'm gonna gonna listen to this music. Yep. I realize I may have to play some of this music for my audience when he gets all because he got yeah. things. You heard him. He's already <laughs> working on the second EP, and I promised him 15. Uh, and you guys go to Apple, Spotify, everywhere you find music and get Dez Dips. There's no one like him, no one else is gonna show up. But gotta get over. You have a lyric at the end where you said you're using. I said what? The lyric that says, oh my God, I don't want to butcher it. But at the end, you said it's because I was using you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Using yeah. Him. yeah the, the, the lyric goes, these secret sins, these secret sins are out of hand. I'm just a man, but has that phrase become an excuse to do what I want and can? Let's be truthful. Grace gets useful when you refuse to do what you're supposed to do. But how can I, how can I, how can I face that one so faithful when honestly I'm really just using him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First of all, <laughs> you, know, you are an amazing singer, but I didn't know you were a songwriter like that. And I am a, I'm a glutton for great lyrics. It's like, ooh, I listen for lyrics I've never heard before. And that right. isn't necessarily a great song, but it, when I hear a great song with some cool lyrics, and a phrase I've never thought about, like when we just keep sinning and making excuses, we're using the grace of God. We're using it like a hope. Like literally, we're using it cheaply. We're using it or using him. And I thought that was so powerful. My 15 minutes are up, but I did want to play just a little snippet of some of your songs that have been pre-approved because they're on your website. Um, oh. I want to draw attention to his website. And I did all this job. It's so funny to do all your songs and put the um, titles on it, but I just got excited. But if I see it below, desdimps.com. And so, Des, I went to your uh, website and I was like, ooh, I like this. Yes, you'll do it. It's nice to get a little sample of it. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm, please forgive me. I'm going to go a little bit Watch over 15 Hope minutes. But like with host Hope Demps on the Daily Gospel Network, the television show created to inspire, encourage, and motivate. Each week, we will provide a dose of entertainment, social commentary, and spiritual insight. This is your opportunity to gain a better understanding of current and important topics from a refreshing perspective, plus creative art, new foods, travel, event reviews, do-it-yourself projects, awesome guests, and so much more. Catch Hope More with host Hope Demps every week on the Daily Gospel Network. allow the music to be heard yeah that was back when i had hair I'm not ready for you I'm too broken for you Although I've spent my whole life Hoping for someone like you I would only end up hurting you.
people chop from situation to situation when alone they need to heal but my love for you makes that thing tough and i hope someday my decision lets you know it's real honestly i'd rather be with you but truthfully i'm not ready Yes! Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting too excited. I I, I mean, I just love every single song. You know, yeah. one song we haven't talked about is a song that came out or you let it, um, you had it on, you know, your Facebook and different things after the George Floyd riots. And wow. even yeah. though this sample is good, it just, you got to hear the whole song, guys. You got to hear the whole song. It's deep. You have to turn your, it's only a taste, y'all. Being in the rich. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Did you do this right now? Hope you find it, girl. <laughs> I'm going to laugh about that for a little while. Because, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, man. Well, because this song reminds me like, um, Ooh, I don't know if I should say too much. I don't keep this in my rotation, but right. Freakum Dress or a Bad Girl, my Usher, I'm like, yes, I'm a bad girl. <laughs> it's not glorified temptation, but it's, it's real. It's real, real. Um, oh, my God. All of them are so great, y'all. Um, like I said, it's only a task, so don't get too mad. Not Ready is the title of this EP. Have you ever been in my shoes? The things I would do, I don't do, I don't do. But what I would do is you. This life is crazy, baby. And I'm so confused. And at the end of the day, what if I got lost? I could lose. Everything my job, my peace, my drive, and my dream. Working in harmony, I could lose so much more. What you can offer, I've been getting so tired. I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, tossing and turning while my body's turning. This temperature's burning, it's hot in here. I know it ain't nothing but rubbing and touching, but the struggle's real, and it's all because of that red dress. Oh, uh, 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 uh,
Cause I'm that rich Oh, no, 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 no. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah. It's like when you say no to one, then he comes true. Three, four, and five. Are they walking in a line? What am I supposed to do? Had he look? Had he look? Christians walk around. Yes, you cannot drag. Yeah. <laughs> Even though might not want to listen to this if you if you're not married. Yeah, not ready is more like a reflective. Once you already got ready, yeah. You're thinking about. I don't know, bros. Y'all may just need to listen, and then like like I said, you guys, this is just a taste. And thank you, Des, for staying on. I need you. All the songs are so good. All of them are so good. Here I am, unworthy wretch that I am. Hey Lord, here I am, unworthy wretch that I am. Hey Lord, here I am, unworthy wretch that I am. Hey Lord, here I am, unworthy wretch that I am. I know you'll forgive me for the things that I've done But at times I feel like I wanna run I know in you, Lord, the road is so sweet But it seems I refuse to do the right thing, please Don't turn your back on me I'm sorry, I plead for your mercy Although I know I'm unworthy, so I'm sorry, Lord, can you help me, Cause I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you, Lord, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you, Lord, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you. I need you, Lord. I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you. I fell on purpose before I know I'll do it again. But in spite of the fall, I was heartfelt every time I said, You forgive me. My ways, I really try to play me down, break me down. Wish I could sing better days, but honestly, I'm having trouble not playing around. Losing focus, it seems.
so bliss. I wish I was the way I used to be. Feeling broken, I've been chosen, but I haven't had it like it lately, cause it ain't stars. See, honestly, it's really just been me. I'm good at my core. Trust me, but I haven't been like it lately, cause what I would do, I ain't. I know, I know better. Yeah. It's getting so awesome. It's in busy. You're in the bad times. Needed a friend who by my side. One day I'm gonna come back. And I'm so through with my secret sins. And I got, got, gotta get, got, got, gotta get up, gotta get up. And this I got, got, gotta get up, gotta get up. And this I got, got, gotta get up. I got to get up, 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 get up. Let's be true, but race gets useful, and you refuse to do what you're supposed to do. But how can I face that one so faithful when honestly I'm really just using him? Dang. See, it ain't a storm. See, honestly, it's really just been me. I'm good at my goal. Trust me, but I haven't been acting like it lately. What I would do, I no more. Oh, so I know, I know better. Like this, getting so It's even dizzy, you in the back side. Need it when you were by my side. Wonder, come back. And I'll talk through with my secret sins. That I got, 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 If I die, I must die. Costing on myself, I the place it. So tell me, when is it okay to do this? When is it okay to do that? When is it okay to be me? When is it okay to be black? When is it okay to do this? When it's okay to do that. When is it okay to be me? When is it okay to be black? First knee went down in peace. Second, you said I can breathe. Guess which one made America mad? You guessed it, the first thing. You see the protests, you feel the unrest. I guess I must confess you paid attention to raise fists. I protest, you mad. Even peace believe you still mad. Now I'm mad, now you scared. So when I'm shy, you don't care. I doubt that you said. But if I die, I must have cost it on myself. How did that make sense? So tell me, when is it okay to do this? When is it okay to do that? When is it okay to be me? When is it okay to be black? When is it okay to do this? When is it okay to do that? When is it okay to be me? When is it okay to be black? This song goes out. So all those that have fallen into police brutality and racism, Black Lives Matter, moment of silence. When is it okay to be black? Oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, you got a little bit for everybody. You know, I. it's funny. I'm in a new relationship. Um, and mean? I believe. <laughs> I'm amazed. It's so amazing. <laughs> 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 Who knows? Like, in, in our deal's family, if you're in a new relationship, 
we come Thanksgiving, we'll know how real it is. Because if you ain't invited to the Thanksgiving, if you can't enjoy Thanksgiving, you ain't you ain't family. You ain't real. Oh. <laughs> so I realize I gravitate to music. Every relationship, I almost I have to have an album, you know, and oh. I always had to go outside of Christian artists to find that album often. So maybe right. Uh, Brian Midnight, um, I won't say what song, and then or like uh, Brandy. So I still keep it sort of, you know, you know, rated PG. Right. And I was like, oh my God, this is my relationship album. Oh yeah. my gosh, this is my relationship <laughs> album. Even it's okay to be black. I was just like, it's so, the words, awesome. Great, great, great job. You guys need to go get this. This EP, I keep wanting to say album. I sound like I'm an old lady, like, oh, album, album, album. But don't know about me. Download music because I really think that, um, I not think, I know you're going to be blessed by it. I know you're going to be blessed. So some of you guys may have recognized Dez, and I'm going to let him have the last word, um, because he also was a part of a group that he founded called Dez to the Future. Dez. And the future. And the future. Yeah. I yeah. always want to say two, like back. Yeah. A lot of people have said it. It's okay. <laughs> I, and as I was saying it, your face dropped. I was like, oh, wrong. Des and the future. Good. 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 He's known all around Jacksonville and the rest of um, Florida and um, and other places. And, and um, you guys go to desdems.com. You can also find him at desdems on Facebook and Instagram. So, you know, shoot him some love. Richard. Hey, Richard, yes, you need to have him on your show. Richard says hello, and that he thinks you're awesome. Actually, Richard, I need to call you because I want you one of my Mondays. He's an artist as well as he has a platform where he promotes other Christian artists. So God bless you, Des. You have one last word as our first March Music Monday guest, and thank you for being on. Um. Thank you for having me. I mean, I, I was excited about it. I mean, this is uh, honestly my second interview, so it's really cool. Um, and of course, to be with my cousin, you know, love my love my big cousin. But I, I will say this: um, this is my dream. I am not a person that has always been ready for the stage. Um, I've always, you know, had a fear of certain things. of certain things but I, I will say this to the dreamers don't be surprised if your gift yes, and thank you for being on um <clears throat> thank you for having me i mean I, I was excited about it i mean this is uh honestly my second interview so it's really cool um and of course to be with my cousin you know, love regular stage um i've always you know had a fear of certain things but I, w- I will say this to the dreamers don't be surprised if your gift is the opposite to your personality like if your gift is to do something where you're on stage but you have stage right if your gift is to you know do some things that just seem to be totally opposite to you or the things that go directly to your fear i believe um Stepping paint on a clean slate, a serene blade. You painted life with these. All this you did it on the seventh day. You took a break. All covered in pain On the throne you stayed And the dark fall away Cause you are My empire
Picasso, Picasso, painting a picture. Incredible, sensational, but you make these beautiful lines. Michelangelo, I love you. The world is your canvas, Lord. Just paint some more, just paint some more. But you make all things beautiful, and you're beautiful. Oh. You're beautiful, you're beautiful to me. You're beautiful because you're beautiful. I can see beautiful in me. You're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful to me. You're beautiful because you're beautiful. I can see beautiful. Painting starts with a blazing stroke, creation zero. Imagination's reality created everything but us. Still took time out for me. Yeah. What did I do to be? How can I ever get love back to you? I'm not worthy. It's okay. <laughs> I, and as I was saying it, your face dropped. I was like, oh, wrong, Des and the future. It's no all around Jacksonville and the rest of um Florida and um and other places. And um you guys go to desdems.com. You can also find him at Des Dems on Facebook and Instagram. So you know, shoot him some love. Richard, hey Richard, yes, you need to have him on your show. Richard says hello. And that he thinks you're awesome. Actually, Richard, I need to call you because I want you one of my Mondays. He's an artist as well as he has a platform where he promotes other Christian artists. So God bless you, Des. You have one last word as our first March Music Monday guest. And thank you for being on. Um, <clears throat> thank you for having me. I mean, I, I was excited about it. I mean, this is uh, honestly my second interview. So it's really cool. Um, and of course, to be with my cousin, and I love my love my big cousin. But I, I will say this: um, this is my dream. I am not a person that has always been ready for stage. Um, I've always, you know, had a fear of certain things. But I, I will say this to the dreamers: don't be surprised if your gift is the opposite to your personality. Like, if your gift is to do something where you're on stage, but you have stage fright. If your gift is to you know do some things that just seem to be totally opposite to you or the things that go directly to your fear i believe um one of the greatest uh speakers for our faith was moses but he had a stuttering problem sometimes right where your weakness is is where god wants to do the greatest things from you where are, we are weak is me strong and I, I think if we overcome my fears we can do these certain things and my fear was doing music my fear was putting my stuff out there and because i went up against my fear uh, god has really blessed it and i would say that to anybody you're just talking to somebody that uh took a chance on what god could do through them and i, I really just want to leave you with that i think there are plenty of people that are meant to do great things out there and we allow our fears to stop us and I'm just an example of don't let it stop you. Wow. Oh, man. I love you so much. It will forever mean so much to me that you were my first mu Music Monday guest, as well as you know what I'm probably about to say. When you sing, I can only imagine at my brother's Corey's funeral, mm -hmm. like it just helps set the atmosphere of worship. So guys, if you listen to the CD, you're going to laugh, you're going to cry, you may even get a little, you know, gully with advocacy, but yeah. you will feel the presence of God because God is in all of it, right? He's in our relationships. He's, when, he's in it. Unfortunately, when we mess up, then he's driving us back. He's drawing us back to him because we got to get over it, right? We got to get over these. Well, we ain't got to. Our desire to please God, we want to get over the sin. We want to get over the temptation of the red dress because we need him. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hope. More, please, Des, stay on as I say goodbye. We love you. I love you, and I mean it. God bless you. Have a wonderful Monday. Watch Hope More with host Hope Demps on the Daily Gospel Network.
the television show created to inspire, encourage, and motivate. Each week, we will provide a dose of entertainment, social commentary, and spiritual insight. This is your opportunity to gain a better understanding of current and important topics from a refreshing perspective, plus creative art, new foods, travel, event reviews, do-it-yourself projects, awesome guests, and so much more. Catch Hope More with host Hope Demps every week on the Daily Gospel Network.